Welcome back, guys. I am back, guys. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. So if y'all hear some, like, some knocking sounds in the back, it is because we're right next to my, um, my room where my washing machine and dryer is, so, and I'm drying clothes. <laughs> okay, so, whenever I get, uh, led to do a message, that's when I do it, so... I'm sorry if y'all hear that noise in the background, but we're going to push through, okay? We're going to push through. All right, so show me what's going on with the Divine Masculine and the Karmic. Show me what's going on with the Divine Masculine and the Karmic. That's too many. That was like eight cards. Show me what's going on with the Divine Masculine and the Karmic. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. We got a Karmic Relationship at the bottom of the deck. All right. So, somebody is running off. We got the runner. So, somebody's running away from this connection. And then we got X. A breakup, a separation, abandonment. This masculine has abandoned this connection or is planning to abandon this karmic. Oh, wow. I mean, it's so many cards jumping out at once. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Give me a second. Let me catch up. What's going on? Mirror. Mirroring each other. Okay. Somebody's giving me narc energy. But I'm getting a mimicker. I'm getting somebody's mimicking. The karmic could be mimicking. Okay, look, we got healthy choices and karmic relationship. Twin flames and separation. So this masculine is separated from his twin flame, dealing with this karmic. And he needs to make better choices. Okay, he needs to make better choices. So he's come to realize that he needs to make better choices. Okay, you need to make some better choices. Y'all, It's these cards are like just flying out. What else? What's going on? Not today. Not today. It ain't no love over there today. Mm-mm. Ain't no love over there today. Ain't no love over there today. Somebody is upset. Somebody said, no, ain't no love coming over there. It's not, it's not a welcoming energy over there right now. Uh, what's going on? What else? What else is going on with the karmic and the masculine? All right, so we got paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. But then we got sunglasses. So it looks like this karmic. Some I feel like people are watching this connection, okay? Because at one point they painted this picture to be all good and this is that, and now all eyes are on them. All eyes are on them. This karmic feel like all eyes on on them. And it's masculine running off. We got heartbroken. This karma about to be heartbroken because guess what? This situation is, <laughs> is you see what it say, coffin. So there's an ending. There's an ending here. And look at this. I like you, twin flame. This masculine is going, returning to his twin flame. And that's just point blank in the period. He running off to go back to his twin flame. He leaving this connection. He running the opposite way from this connection. He hauling ass the other way. Okay? He like, nah. Mm, 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 mm. I'm finna go back to where I was at. I'm finna go try to get my boo back. I'm finna go try to go get my baby back. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay. <laughs> so let's see what action this masculine is going to take. Let's see what's on his mind. What actions he want to take. does this masculine want to take we got God so he's trying to find his way back trying to find his way back to divine feminine he coming with an offer he coming with some type of offer and he wants he wants forgiveness and he's gonna ask you to be patient with him and he's gonna be playing that victim role playing that victim role saying that he wants his family back okay What action is this masculine going to be taking? We got, didn't I tell you? Return, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? I can't make this shit up. Big dreams. Mm-hmm. He could be working on some goals. He trying to, maybe trying to get something together before he tries to return, but he's trying to find his way back to divine feminine. Yep, separation. Y'all are currently separated. And this masculine is very much so unawakened, okay? He doesn't know how to... Um, I don't think he understands the healing journey. I feel like a lot of you divine feminists had to go through... Um, do some shadow work and heal after the situation, okay? If somebody's heart is torn into pieces on this picture. Lessons and abandoned. Mm -hmm. He said he learned his lesson. And he, I feel like this masculine abandoned, like left you. And left you with no explanation. Just kind of like did you dirty. Abandoned this connection. I feel like it was because you uh, could have explained that you were going through some changes or you were going through some type of metamorphosis or something here. And this made this masculine run off. But now this masculine feels stuck, okay? He feeling stuck. He's still stuck on you. Still stuck in his mind, replaying. And he knows that he has to let this karmic go. We got purge. In order for him to come back to this union. Give me one more card. What action is this masculine going to take? Yeah. We got tribe. <sighs> crossroads. So this masculine at a crossroad. He not sure how he's going to return. He's not sure if y'all are even going to be on the same page when he returns. And I feel like there's a commitment. He want to offer you some type of commitment. Okay. I feel like he admires the hell out of you. But he definitely wants forgiveness. And he's coming with an offer. He's coming with an offer. But please be careful. Because I don't know. Some of these masculines, they're wearing a mask. So you, you got to get all the information first. But see, we got mirroring and deception. Both of y'all could have been mirroring each other. Okay, um, they went off and did something. You turned your back and you turned your back on the connection as well. And when he did what you wanted to do. Okay, I mean, what else are you supposed to do? Sit there and be boo with a fool? I think not. Let me pull a few more because I want to see. Devotion and soulmate. This masculine said he's going to be devoted to this connection. And he's surrendering. Yep. He ready to surrender. He ready to surrender. He like, yeah, okay, okay, you win, you win, you won, you won, you won. Okay. Tell me why our crossroads is here. Love. He know he got a decision that he got to make. Who he want to be with. Who he want to date. Who you want to be laid up with? 
And see why y'all separated. He know that it, he know. He know that it's some work that need to be done. He know he gonna have to put the work in. And he know the clock is ticking. He know this clock is ticking. But he got a, he got a decision that he got to make. Tell me why surrender is here. Seduction. So he's ready to surrender this third. He ready to surrender. He This third parties and hooking up and doing all of this. He ready to let that go. He got love call. He ready to reach out. He ready to talk to you. He ready to express his love for you. Reach out to you. Give you some type of message. Let you know that he's thinking of you. Tell me why Purge is here. Mm, the sword and the rose. All right. So the sword and the rose is clarity, truth, revelation, force, honor, protection, and power. So this masculine knows. This masculine also got some type of addictions. This could be to anything. This person could be addicted to you. Okay. This could be person could be codependent. They could have possessive energy. Co they could just there's just some type of um addiction here, an obsession. This person has a lack of control. This person could I feel like this person is addicted to you. I feel like they're coming in to communicate about how they're addicted to you. Tell me why lessons is here. I feel like this person stuck on you. Yeah, look at this. Lessons and passion. Okay, so the chemistry between y'all was definitely there. Dope. It was dope. It was a dope ass chemistry. But this masculine learned his lesson about going off having sex doing whatever he wanted to do with other people because i feel like some of y'all mirrored their energy i feel like some of y'all said okay well if that's what you're gonna do then okay instead of sitting there crying over the situation for for years and years and years i feel like some of y'all just got up and just went and did your own thing that person learned they lesson i'm getting they met the right one they met they met Tell me why I, why I return is here. Why is return here? We got love call. Yep, they coming. They coming to express themselves. They say you got their heart. You that twin flame. They traded in, they traded in the twin flame connection for a karmic. And tried to get the karmic to um to be like you and train the karmic up to be like you and, and it ain't work that way. They say you got their heart. You was perfect. We got welcome and love, meeting the one, open your heart, get it together, perfect. Let's do one more. Tell me why God is here. Healthy choices. Yep. They realize that they got to make better choices. Okay. Because they sabotage something. They sabotage something that was great. Okay. Paradise. They sabotage this paradise. Okay. They sabotaged it with acts. We are separated. Y'all been giving each other the silent treatment. Then we got separation right here. So in between that, they've been dealing with people that, you know, that they like. Just that they like. You know, they like something about them. It might be one little thing that they like about them and they just running with it. This person has definitely learned their lesson. Okay. So now they know that they have a decision, a real deal decision that they have to make. What move do they want to make? Who do they want to be with? Do they want to continue to deal with karma? Or do they want to put in the work and come back to Divine Feminine? And I feel like they wholeheartedly want to come back to Divine, Divine Feminine. But now, this person has to think of a way 
to get your attention? What can they say to you? How can they reach out without looking like a fool? Like all of these things are going through this this masculine's mind right now. Like yes, it is. Let me pull a few from the tarot. I want to see how this next one feels about the karmic. Three of Pentacles and a Seven of Swords and a Knight of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Three of Swords. This is a lot of. <sighs> this is a lot of third party energy. Like, right? it's a lot of third party stuff going on. is the outcome. This masculine is leaving this karmic. This masculine is leaving. If he ain't left yet, he getting ready to leave. He wants some new, fresh energy. Like, he want a new beginning in love. And he don't want it there. But the thing about it is, is this masculine don't got much. He coming with this page of pentacles. He coming with this little teeny tiny ass offer. The offer not big, y'all. Just, I'm just putting it out there. The offer is not big. He want a new start, though. With the S of Wands, he want a new start. He definitely do want a new start, but he, he coming with page energy. This masculine say he not finna go back and forth with this karmic. I feel like she could have asked him for something or he asked her for something because we got the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So this could be a gift, a money or something. But maybe she's starting to ask for more, asking for more from him. And he is completely surprised. He's completely surprised. Yes, all his, all the work that was done, he feel like it's just fall, it just fell apart. All the efforts, everything that he put into the connection, he feel like it fell apart. I'm hearing, what would make you ask me for that? I'm hearing somebody missed an opportunity. Some like somebody missed an opportunity on something. Yep. It's like she wants him to pay for something. And he's completely surprised that she would even ask him. He's saying what she said was true. So there could have been a disagreement. He's saying what she's saying is true. But he's still like, why would you ask me that?
Yeah, they got issues. Five of Wands and Injustice. They going through some type of issues. Um, somebody, she's wanting more. She's wanting him to give him more. Wanting him to give her more. She wants more from the connection. And he's got scared. And he, he got scared. And this is pissing him off. Okay, so this is his energy with that runner energy. This Knight of Swords. He's gonna run on off. And <laughs> he's kind of like avoiding conversation. He's waiting for her to calm down. There's, there was an argument. Yep. She was hoping that he was gonna pay for something. But her intuition telling was telling her that he that he wasn't gonna do it. So he lied about something. She don't feel like he's she don't feel like he's doing enough. And then she does she done seen seen she said she done seen this too many times. And it's, it broke her heart. And she said everybody was trying to tell her. Um but something didn't go as planned. Something didn't go as planned. Yeah, she said he lied too much. He lied. Told her he was going to do something for her and didn't come through. So we got the three of cups. Um, she could have reached out to a friend, getting advice from a friend. But he's he's walking out. Yep. Eight of cups in the world. He's done. He been waiting to be single anyways. Hey man and the nine of pentacles. He been waiting to be single anyway. He said he don't feel like he got to slow down no time soon anyway. And he been waiting on this moment. Feel like everybody's exposing him. Um, and I'm feeling like he's saying, I didn't give you the runaround. These are the exact words that I'm hearing. I didn't give you the runaround. So Karmic feels like masculine gave her the runaround. Mm-hmm. So it's over. This end is is a done deal. Eight of Cups in the world. All right, that's what I got for y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later.